Proverbs, King James was a fag. We always can't even be little old letters, but they can't, they cannot, they have not switched from Aaron to the law of Melchizedek, the Christ is the high priest. And attached to that, they'll probably be promoting a little reincarnation when the Bible teaches yeah. resurrection. Right. Reincarnation, you can come back as anything, a German shepherd, anybody. You know, so they teach that along with the other things. And then finally, because it says virgin birth, they want the Messiah to be born like one of them so they can claim it. All of this come out of the ISUPK out of, out of New York. They got about 20 different facts that broke off. Half of them think they King David. Y'all boy not calling himself. If you don't come after the order of General Yohanna, I ain't seen that in these pages yet. I still believe it. Okay, and it's real. Like y'all make videos. Not under his order, it's not under the Lord. Not under the Lord is what they say. <coughs> Mike gave Peter the keys, and then two seconds later called him Satan. Right. Get behind me, Satan. You savor the things with me. Oh, God. And just told him, you know, I'm going to build a church off of what you believe. You said I was in Christ, you're going to start the church with that, with your understanding. Next week, you're going to say, Lord, I go, I die. Boy, I wish a Roman would. Put their hand on you, I you like get behind me and say, you ready to stop prophecy? Peter, you're gonna die before my second come. Before Israel is restored. Yeah, they, re they really don't believe. They know that's what it is. Yeah, we, we, we deal with them brothers too, and we were just stay in the old testament. That's right. They have explain to us well, what script, who is this talking about right here? Like for example, Isaiah 9. That's right. Six the way he's talking about a son that's gonna be born. That descends through David, right. that will be called God. And he's not David. Go he ahead. He's the son of David, but when he will be magnified as God or the everlasting Father. That's Old Testament. Right. They say it's not the Messiah, of Christ. And we ain't talking about the, the picture you can see in your own life. So who is David? They don't have an answer. They don't have an answer. Yeah. They got the old list dig in the hat. It yeah. could be Jeremiah. It could be. Right. It's right. Jeremiah. No. He's a Levite. Can't be him. Got to come out of the tribe of Judah. See, those nine men said in Hebrew, they don't understand that the prophecies all talks about Christ. Like you got Isaiah 53 and 5, it says he was wounded by our transgressions. Right. You no know, transgressions means sin. So that's you right. ask them, who that's talking about? Oh, well, uh, I think that's Hezekiah. So you say Hezekiah was wounded by sins? You know, show me that. You know, so they get the running and ducking when we, you know, we bring out the prophecies. So all they all show me the prophecies. They don't believe right. right. the Old Testament. They don't believe but you can ask him, well, show me who this is. Like, uh, David, the Lord said to my Lord. Psalm 110. Right? So we ask him, well, who's David called the Lord that's next to the Lord in heaven? Right. Somebody next to the Lord in heaven is still called the Lord, meaning master. That's right. Brother, what the Old Testament show me that is? You can't say, look, you can't say David because this is David right. Right. <laughs> he said the Lord said to my Lord. So we said, brother, between Genesis and Malachi, even the Bible, if you want, show us who they're talking about. That's right. right. <laughs> and it's, it, 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 it turns to a, it could be. No, it could be what it could be. Right. Right? We can go show in the very Bible you got in your hand that that's talking about. Right. Tell, right. Them, right. Tell, them, tell, them, tell them the numerical time it could impossible for it to be somebody else. Oh, yeah. This is DVD called uh, Ancient Prophecy. Right? I'm sitting down watching it about, uh, like a, month, down, about a month and a half ago. I was at the three was going through watching it. And uh, Christ came up, right? And old boy said there's over 330 prophecies in the Old Testament that all came true in the person of Jesus the Nazareth. The probability of that fit anybody else is 1 and 10 to the 157th power. He put them geometries in. <laughs> he said, look, so we done and done. For us that don't know what all that means, right? He said, Draw one on your paper and put a hundred and fifty-seven zero in there. That's a probability that it's somebody else right in them. You ain't got it. In other words, it ain't nobody else. It ain't nobody else. Right. So do you think that they really know that they just want to be people or they just... been checked out. The, the, the whole thing of Jesus being a so-called Caucasian pacifist has been drilled in our people's heads. And our non-Messianic brothers still confuse that with when you read Jesus of Nazareth in the New Testament. Right. You feel me? So they say, yeah, we the Hebrews, but uh, I don't know. And I hope that Jesus Christ of Nazareth was a Hebrew. Israelite. From the tribe of Judah. 
tribe of Judah. You see what I'm saying? So that's what it is now. The image of white Christ being drilled in their mind. And when you say Jesus, or oh, Hebrew, Yahweh Shai, Yahshai, Yahosh, whatever you want to say, that the old boy be reading about Matthew, him. Right? right? <laughs> so when you put it out there like that, it's like, oh, but I don't know. The Romans could have put that in there. But we don't rock with that vibration. This is no. either all or nothing. And it is or it ain't. And it ain't just like, okay, we just Jesus preach. We the Old Testament prophesies about the Messiah coming. Right? So use the Bible and show who is that. If it's not him, show. Then who is? We make them work, right? They ain't they can't produce nobody. 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 Can't even produce nobody. Right? Well, they've been producing people, but one is over in the desert. The other one dead. One just run off and on the hunt for child molestation. Check this out. Check this out. They still waiting. Like, I heard a boy say, well, look, we all waiting on the Messiah. But then this, the prophecy say he has to be born. Right? Uh -huh. So you just think the Lord's going to pop up and redeem you. According no. to your Old Testament, it says, unto us a son, son is born. Is born. Unto us a king, unto him a kingdom is given. Right. Right? And then he's going to be called God, and then his birthplace is Bethlehem. In Judah. So we got to get renamed and get back to the land to wait for this son to be born. It, it don't add up. You got 33 years outside of that. And then check this out. Uh, the precept of uh, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 10. It says, and with all deceitfulness of unrighteous in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. Might be. Y'all, we going there, y'all. Just hold off on that, bro. We okay. Gonna, we gonna hit that well, we going there. Okay. Guys, exactly signs of heaven what we're talking about today. Y'all, what he's, what he's explaining also, when y'all hear the words and they say because we are all or nothing with this script, we believe it from... From page one to the last page, y'all heard nobody in uh, tampered with it. It ain't been misinterpreted. None of that. Once doubt is cast into you, you done. Yeah. You done. You can't deal with doubt and this. You have to believe. Doubt is the enemy of your faith. Say, what does it say to me? Doubt is the enemy of your faith. See, so once you they get you off your game and say, well, you look, you say, well, ain't that in red, right? Well, see, but there was no J in the alphabet. Well, I tell you what, get your Hebrew concordance and look up Jesus and tell me if it goes back to Zeus. Or does it say Joshua or salvation, yep. the English translation of Joshua, yep. which means what? Yeah, salvation. salvation. He shall save. Now, show me in them concordance this word say he's an iron horse of Zeus man. <laughs> see, if you don't make them prove it, they'll have you off your game and then open the door for you to accept this man that was born in Chicago somewhere, or like the black man's guy says there's Elijah Muhammad, it's Christ. <laughs> and first, I don't feel calling. He was born in Old Bethlehem. He was born in San Diego, Georgia. Oh, so you're going to use this, Revelation 18, then you're going to lie about Matthew 1. You are shocked and a husk and a pimp. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got a question. You got a question. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's a powerful thing for him about bringing that. Uh, you know how Pharaoh used Pharaoh for his purpose? Right. And it's a wonderful thing that those uh, people that, that look at him might have to do with uh, uh, for their purpose? No, for his purpose. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Once you become it, we're going to make sure we hit the Romans and that Thessalonians speaking of. Once you you turn your back on Christ, you try to call you call him a curse and still try to quote these scriptures. See, that's the problem. If it ain't Christ, then tell us who it is. And if the New Testament tampered with, what other book do we got to prove Christ won't deserve? We have one voice that is a book. It's a book in the library. In the library, I ask, what if it's checked out? <laughs> <laughs> so you going from this to some book in the library. No, y'all, it's utter mad because of simple things like that's a J in there. There wasn't no J. Wasn't no A, E, I, O, U, E. Wasn't no vowels or consonants. Right. So you want to play a linguistic game with us. Either you believe it or you don't. That, that is only either Christ is reigning supreme and on the right hand of his father, or he ain't. And some Negro in Chicago probably just have to eat tacos in Belgium and they tell him you are 
It's a part of that same group called himself the Holy Spirit. Right. Jermaine Grant is his government name. He's actually got the people believing he's the Holy Spirit. He has a, they pass over fifteen hundred dollars a head. He has about three thousand people and boys and men because they know they are lights. He come on stage and he presents the Holy Spirit award. He got an angel on wings that he give out to his servants. Oh, y'all have to look up Google Black Coat. Black Coat documentary. I got, I got the scriptures for you, sir. Go ahead, Rodney. You move on. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, Ezekiel 14, uh -huh. Ezekiel 14 and 9, and then also the book of Jude, verse 4. She's asking about those that uh, basically deny the Lord, uh -huh. and how they, they still set up and use for the Lord's purpose. Ezekiel 14 and 9, and if the prophet be deceived when he has spoken the thing, I, the Lord, have deceived that prophet, uh -huh. and I will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people, Israel. And they shall bear the punishment of their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be even as the punishment of him that seeketh unto him. So y'all, we see that false prophets, when you go chasing the Lord, use you for dirty work. Because you you, you just like a, a, a pig returning, a dog returning to his vomit, yes, a sow wallowing in the mire. You have turned back to the old way. You won't believe in Christ and then water it down to this brother here. <laughs> I mean, they just going through the list. Man, ain't nobody picked the Holy Spirit yet. Okay, I'll take that one. Uh, <laughs> and then he got something about to die. Oh, and then he got an action figure down. Okay, Mark Shells. Y'all, this is what you have to be careful of. Because we want to see a sign so bad that we'll accept anything instead of just believing. And he told us what you see. What I am telling you, you are going to see, perceive my second coming, cannot be duplicated. It cannot. Everything you see right now is going to be a bootleg version. If you accept it, that's what you get, a bootleg version. Now try to walk up in one of them stores with a bootleg version on your own. They got a sensor that'll rain before you get through, though. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Verse 11, uh, that the house of Israel right, may go no more astray from me, neither be polluted any more with all their transgressions, uh, but that they may be my people, and I may be their God, saith the Lord God. Uh huh. And then Jude, just one verse, verse 4, what does it say? For there are certain men uh -huh. crept in unaware, uh -huh. right? who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, right? Ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into the cities and denying the only Lord, God, and our Lord, uh -huh. Yahushua, Jesus Christ. They deny. You know, they'll say things like, y'all talking about the rapture. Oh, so oh, it will behoove you to study what the rapture is in its context, study what the Trinity is according to those man-made doctrines, and and study uh, what's the uh, immaculate conception, and and then study what the Bible says: virgin birth, the great gathering, and the Godhead or the three that bear record. And see, you will see the difference. Yeah, there's some similarities, but this is a hundred percent. That's made up. <laughs> so you have to tell them. Why are you coming at me with that made up? Show me where that made up is in Matthew 1. Because if you don't, they're going to start taking you to how Christ had to be born. Yeah, he was made of a woman. He had to go through nine months cycle. Yes, but there's a difference, and y'all know it. Let's get some more. What we have Matthew? Matthew 24, verse 30. Uh -huh. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. What? And then shall appear. The sign of the Son of Man in heaven. So we see Christ coming back after tribulation. <coughs> so we got a problem here. Yeah. Also, Revelations chapter 2 through 6 deals with the seven trumpets. All yeah. hell is breaking loose before we get to Trump 7. And you see them here. Mm -hmm. We could be in Trump 3 and 4 right now. The way things are coming and happening at this rapid pace. And you still here. And sprouted no wings and flew off nowhere. <laughs> Look, the Lord is coming to get us like he brought us here. Just like he got us out of Egypt. 
and there was a his chariot showing us the way to the wilderness, and one behind us sending off them as Egyptians. Same way, they call them U UFOs, but we call them uh, IFOs, identifiable <coughs> flying <coughs> objects, chariots yeah. of the Lord, mentioned in Ezekiel chapter 1, Genesis, uh, uh, Matthew 24 on the Mount of Olives. That's what came and got Christ. But they want you to shoot at it or hurl your missiles at it when you see them coming. They won't be able to duplicate it. They got supersonic jets, but they will never compare to what's written in Ezekiel 127 when it identifies what the children of God looks like. Go ahead, bro. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Okay, so now we got tribes of the earth mourn. Go ahead. And they shall see the Son of Man. What shall they see? The Son of Man. Uh -huh. Coming in the clouds of heaven. Uh -huh. With power and great glory. Either that's three comings. Or somebody's lying. Because if Christ came back and got you pre-tribulation, that would be the second one, wouldn't it? I had one preacher tell me, oh, he's coming back in stages. What? Right. That's the thing. He says, I'm good. He's in What if you said it's like a Broadway play? Stage one, Christ one. Stage two, he's cussing out people in the temple. Stage three, he gathers the rapture work. Stage four is the second. No. No. You got a question. You got a question. Go ahead, Brother Matt. Absolutely. They ain't got it going like that for nothing. Right. Good right. Well, what we're talking about is they got test product, projects up in there. Some of them crash. Yep. They crash the cherry God. So can They can, again, say to copycat. They try their best. You feel this why they trying to clone? You can't do it, though. Look, they said they went to the moon. Do you know there's more technology in this than it was in the space shuttle? Yeah. It's more technology in this than it was in the space shuttle. It never flew on Earth. Right. Never flew on Earth. And you mean to tell me they're going to try it out for the first time in outer space? What you got, Jay? Yeah, they didn't even get break from um, Van Helder, which they discovered after that. So, uh, the, the radiation alone, they could not even make it through. Russia it's said in the belts. What, Russia what, said I'll take a man in a 300 pound lead suit. It's Van Helder, the suit. Cannot, or the ship cannot withstand that much radiation. The radiation that gives off the Earth from its orbit. See, you see what I'm saying? And they they have also, look, also look, there's look. not enough fuel. Hold it down, y'all. There's not enough fuel to get from her to the moon and then the blast from the moon and fuel its way back. So also, you, know, you were at a time when you had the switchboard. Go ahead, bro. You had the switchboard system. <laughs> so who ran the wire from the moon to the ship to the Earth? Uh-oh. Right. The boy landed out. Yeah. You had the switchboard system. He landed out a pattern of lies and deception. See, you had to call Sarah just to make a phone call. And, and let's just understand this. <laughs> Jeremiah 31, 35, and a few other tell them that they could have took over the moon and claimed it. Once they stick a flag in it, that's their inside. They said, we run this now. It says I will destroy Israel as a people. Go ahead, brother. Where can I identify chariots of God? Ezekiel 127, you read all through Exodus 12, 14, all in the book of Exodus, you, you'll see uh, Matthew 24 in, in the book of Ezra, 2nd Ezra, I believe, what is chapter 7? You got Zechariah 5 and 12. Zechariah 5 and 12. Zechariah 5 and 12. Psalm, yes, Psalm 68 and 17. Yes, by how many cherries of God it is. 68, 17, yeah. Psalm 68, 17, talk about it's a number. Like how many, he got thousands upon thousands of them. 68, 17. Look, y'all, they show y'all in the movies. Because they want y'all, because the Bible is without excuse. You can't say, Lord, they took the Bible. Well, Hollywood is showing you know, they showed you Independence Day. When you seen the cloud unfolding with fire, and then when the cloud moved out of the way, that was the mothership. They show you exactly, they are recording it just like this. Man does not have an imagination greater than the most high. So what are they thinking about? Let's improve on what he doing, so to speak. Where do you think the bionic man and all this come from? We'll put a robot legs on. He'll never blow Achilles tendon. Won't be no hamstrings tore up. Go ahead, bro. Verse 31. We're in Matthew chapter 24, verse 31. And he shall sing his name. What shall he sing? 
and he shall send his angel uh -huh. with a great sound of the trumpet. Y'all see this noise? The great sound of the trumpet is trumpet number seven. Mm -hmm. Every word we read, 1 Thessalonians 4, you will always see at the last trump. trump. That sixth trump is a tribulation that already paid. And Christ ain't showed up yet. But he shows up at the last trump because it's announcing his second coming. Yes, see, our God is so merciful. You can play Russian roulette up to the last minute, but you better not take your chances like the thief on the cross. Does that happen? Yes, it will happen. But should you take that chance on that happen? No, you shouldn't. Let's get it. Verse 31. Uh -huh. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trump. Right. And they shall gather together his elect. What shall they do? Gather together his elect. What does he elect, y'all? Psalm 50. Is the elect. So we, we understand there's a gathering of the elect of Christ at this point after the tribulation. After all hell work is right. Go ahead. From the four wings. From the what? Four wings. So that means from four corners of the earth. From one end of heaven to the other. That's why your news is called N-E-W-S. Mm. North, East, West, West South. South. That's right. The news from all over the world. That's right. Yeah. Go ahead. That's it. From the four wings. Okay. Let's move right into Luke 21. Y'all, what we said, no, we're going to go into some things, y'all. We're going to hit it hard this last hour. Y'all, concerning some things that we use here on earth that you may consider witchcraft that we have to be careful with because the naysayers are coming at you with these questions and they're going to point to things at the Bible and then they're going to point to the horoscope and they're going to say, look like we're God just doing this. But we're going to have to explain that just like we just did your rapture and the virgin birth and all of it can always be explained if thou will study this word diligently. If you playing around and it's just good sayings to you, the minute somebody say something to you, there you go chasing. Right. Has a prophet supposed to be coming to the church tomorrow? Talking about what? The second coming of Christ? Or you gonna get a new call? <laughs> if my credit score up and I got a few shekels, I can get a new call. Man, that care about a prophet talking about this call. Is he talking about the second coming? Is at the door? That's what we need to be hearing. Right. Luke 21. Also write down Isaiah chapter 45, verse 4. It's another second witness on uh, who's, who's uh, God's elect. 45, verse 4. And also Psalm 50. The Christ says elected those who made a sacrifice with him by covenant. The covenant given to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the sacrifice behind it. The keeping of the law, statutes, and judgment, and understanding the orders of it. What happened on Mount Sinai and what's going to happen on Mount Zion? Two different mountains, two different high priests. Order of Aaron, order of Melchizedek, featuring Yahweh Shah Hamashid, locally known as Jesus the Christ. If you ain't under this priesthood of nine, you still under the whole order. It's like old instructions, y'all. You need an update. Wait, What's going to happen with what? To, to God's the next one of the tribulation period. Well, removal from nuclear holocaust, because they're showing you in the movies, we're going to launch a nuclear holocaust on whatever those spaceships are coming. We got the space station up there, but the book of Obadiah already told us, though you set your nest among the stars. See, it said a nest. It just said it was a moon. They set their nest among the stars. They satellites up there in the space station. It's sitting up there in the nest. That's where they go dock to, like birds returning back to its nest. They don't dock on the moon. They go back to the space station. Russia is hooked up with that, China is hooked up with that, and they are building this gigantic city up there to prepare themselves for the war, which is going to take place in heaven first. Revelation 12 is a twofold prophecy, and I saw the war in heaven. And then it's going to hit here on earth. And we better be ready, y'all. If you ain't got that shield Joe had around that edge around you, it's going to be trouble. Ain't no other way to say it. We're not trying to scare y'all into some of this, but you have to fear and understand what the Lord is saying. He is going to put down wickedness in this earth. You will never ever have to say lock that door behind you. Oh, wow. 
Go ahead. Sister, write right, right down Psalms 91. God's curve is neglected. What does it say? Psalms 91 chapter, verse uh -huh. 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High uh -huh. shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Mm. I was saying to the Lord, He is my refuge. What is He? The Lord is my refuge mm -hmm. and my fortress. Mm -hmm. My God. Uh -huh. In Him will I trust. Okay. Verse 3. Surely, surely, He shall deliver thee uh -huh. from the snare of the fowl, right. from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Verse 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day. Arrows and missiles. Mm. All right? Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Right. Verse 7. Uh -huh. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. Hold up, Valley. Do me a favor, y'all. Hey, y'all probably do about ten in that line at a time, so we don't get that congregate or, or that congestion build up in the back, y'all. So go ten at a time. Y'all listen, my girl? <laughs> I ain't listening, I'm listening. Verse 7. Go ahead. A thousand shall fall at thy side. Shall not come near thee. What it say they're gonna do? But it shall not come near thee. So y'all, as much as trouble is coming, y'all we ain't got nothing to worry about. I said right. Jacob gonna be saved out of his trouble. Yes, but you have to believe that. If you trembling and shaking, you are gonna invite trouble to you. If you run off somewhere you ain't supposed to, you are gonna invite trouble to you. When you read Jeremiah 42, it's talking about those that flee Babylon to run into Egypt. They say the wolf gonna follow you there. You can't run from this. You can't run out of Deuteronomy 28. You know the one question we ask all the fleers, what are we going to do about them in the penitentiary on the free cases? Right. What are we going to do? Or do we leave the enemy? Every week we're looking and seeing somebody just got out on a 25-year bid, been in that phone, on a free case. Right. They didn't have nobody else to charge, so you get that case. Do we leave them for destruction? No, we didn't because Egypt opened up the prison. Hell, even when you're throughout Columbus, them, they opened up the prisons. This is why I got so crazy over here. Everybody on them ship was robbers and murderers. They opened up everything. Y'all got to get out of Britain. Start over there with that food. So the Most High opened up everything. Everybody come out of America to the rod door when Christ will judge you. He gonna tell if you have a free case in prison or not. But if everybody leave America, how do they get out? And you know what they say? No! Well, the Lord will deal with that. Wait a minute. He ain't going to deal with you getting out, but he's going to deal with them on the free case. <laughs> right. Verse 9. What does it say? Because thou hast made the Lord, uh -huh. which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. Right. There shall no evil befall thee. No evil. Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee. See, y'all, this is when you hear the term guardian angel. If you keep the commandment, there's an angel that walk with you. Watching for you. You can know when you're messing around, looking at some men, look up the last minute. Where you get them skills from? That didn't come off of, off of the Xbox behind the shelf. I don't know what number the hell to Yeah, we're going to get right there. If we hit that, you're going to get right into that. Mm -hmm. Run to the hills, verse 16. Look that Matthew. Matthew, what? Let's get back right. She's going to see where the mounds are. The mounds going to open up. Run to the mound of Oz. If you be in Judea. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Maybe follow on that. Matthew 24 and. Go we'll get. Uh, but if you be in Judea. We do the mount. Yeah. Oh, right here. 24 and 16, let's back that Matthew up to what she's talking about. Y'all, it's Israelites in Jerusalem. It's, it's at least, well, look, United States government, Aaron is the tribe of Dan back over there. 
probably 80% of them. The first uh, airlift was called Operation Moses. The second airlift was called Operation Solomon. To the black or so-called philosophy Jews, they call philosophy meaning strangers in a form.